now coming to our final concept which is called polymorphism right now in english terms it means poly means many and morph means forms so that means many forms right and in layman terms it means the ability of an object to behave differently right so it could have different meaning at different places okay so in real in real world you can consider an example as um, animal which can change its color or its nature depending on the environment right so there are many animals uh, to give an example so, uh, so that's what it means now coming to uh, object oriented programming uh, polymorphism can be achieved by two ways right or there are mainly two ways of achieving polymorphism uh, one is method overloading one is method overriding now we you have, may have noticed that we have already used method overriding when we were uh, extending uh, abstract class or implementing a uh, interface we were overriding a method which was already declared in some other class right so that's what is method overriding now very important difference between the these two is um, method overloading it happens at compile time and that's why it is also known as compile time polymorphism right so it happens during compilation when java compiles your code it automatically detects whether a method is overloaded or not uh, but in method overriding it happens at runtime right so at runtime it will decide whether to override the method or not okay so that is why it is also called known as runtime polymorphism and uh, it is also known as dynamic polymorphism and compile time is also known as static polymorphism right so there are different names but uh, the same meaning now um, as i was saying in method overloading um, you can have multiple methods with the same name but the difference would be in the parameters right which you are being passed in those methods so the type of parameters and the number of parameters could vary across those methods if uh, the parameters are also same along with the name then you cannot overload in the same class it will give you an compilation time error that you cannot have uh, two methods with the same name and the same parameters you need to have different set of parameters in those two methods which have the same name we are going to look at an example on how how that is possible and then in method overriding uh, so that happens when a method in the derived class right it overrides a method from the base class okay so basically when you are overriding a particular method or you are defining a different implementation to what is already been defined in a base class you are redefining the implementation in the derived class okay so uh, method overloading it happens it, it can have methods which are lying in the same class but in method overriding uh, both the methods have to be in different classes like one it will be in the parent class one it will be in the child class right so these are some of the major differences between these two types of polymorphism. Now, again, a very important interview question. Um, and you will come across questions like, what are the two types of polymorphism and what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding, okay? Now, looking at real time, let's get back to our project. And as I was talking, uh, we have already seen how you can override a particular method right so when we are implementing an interface or we are extending a particular class uh, we can give this annotation which is at override and then uh, this sign will come that it is overriding a particular method from a parent class right so this method is being overridden the implementation is being overridden from the parent class okay so that's how you basically do method overriding and it's a very normal practice to uh, kind of override uh, different methods, right? Now, talking about method overloading, right? So let's let's take another example. Um, let me see. Okay, uh, let's go to our car class. And here, if I can 
take or let's let's have another method which is something called public static void okay and i will say this method name is change color okay and in this i kind of pass on the color which which we which we want to change right so what i say is i will print um i'll simply print the color here okay so this is a simple method which i have declared or defined inside this car class right now say for example i want to have a different implementation of this same method right uh, so what is going to happen is i'm going to keep the name same in this particular method right now if i give it string color the same parameter it's going to obviously give me a error and this is a compilation time error right so change color string is already defined in this package so you cannot define it again but if i um change say for example i do it int and i say color index okay so there is some index which i want to use and then i can change basically the implementation here where i will be printing the index instead of the string right so as you can see now this is an overloaded method right change color so there are two methods with the same name but when you are going to call this method in a different class you are going to basically uh, or the java runtime is going to decide it based on the parameter which you pass right so if you pass a integer it is going to call this method if you are going to pass a string it is going to call this method right so let's see um let's do one thing let's see it in action okay so let's go here and we are going to call this method which is called change color right now i say here red okay and i again call this method and i here pass one so as you can see um i have the same method but i am using it for different purpose right so first i am printing a string and then here printing a integer so i can call both the methods here or a single method it depends on the parameter which i am passing and it will decide based on that okay now if i am going to execute this you will see both both of them printing uh, whatever is written inside those methods right okay so red and one so that's how um, you can use method overloading and method overriding right so method overriding is pretty common uh, because whenever you are um, using abstraction or interf or uh, inheritance you are going to use method overriding by default but method overloading you can use in scenarios where you want to uh, have different um, you want to have different implementation for the same functionality right you want to implement it in a different way so that time you can overload your existing methods with a different kind of implementation which will have different parameters okay so um this is all about uh, polymorphism and the two very important uh, types of polymorphism and how you can use it um when you are writing your code okay so in the next module we are going to talk about how uh, we can implement all these concepts which we have understood in this module in a automation framework right for example in a selenium automation framework how we are going to implement all these best practices so that our framework is more reusable modular and maintainable okay